So, you know, I just realized that I'm climbing this mountain. I'm about to start hiking with my dogs. And all I keep thinking, I, for a second, I forgot about the dogs. And I'm just looking around and I see the mountains. I don't know if you can see them. But, and I'm just thinking, I'm so excited about this place I'm going to explore today. I know it's going to be epic. It's going to be a, like a rock wall on the, si on the left side. And then the mountain side slope sloping down on the right side and I've never been there but I've seen it on the map and I think it's gonna be beautiful and, I, and I'm just thinking oh my god I'm so excited I'm gonna check out that place I'm gonna hike it out five miles six miles whatever and that just gets me excited and then I'm like oh and we might actually find a bear and my dogs might strike and my might, might treat a bear but but that's not I mean, that's that's great, but even without it, I guess, eh, I'm just excited to be in the mountains, that's all. <laughs> we find a bear, I'll show you a bear. If not, then I'll just, I'll just see what I can see. So this is what I was talking about. There's this wall that goes all the way along this ridge. It gets even steeper over there. But I plan on going all the way below this. I'm hoping to find some game trail. There's tons of deer sign, but I don't see any bear sign yet. But we'll see what happens. The dogs are on the other side, in fact. Well, one of them is going down the, the other side so we'll see what happens next but man it's so pretty look at that all right just need to find find something a game trail some sign or whatever So there's again this wall and there's a faint game trail like a tiny narrow ledge that goes along this wall it's pretty cool but still no bear sign I guess there's nothing out there on the other side. Didn't hear any barks. But it's silly. That's a slab dog right there. Oh, there's the second one. There he is. Still trying to figure out how to come down. Oh my. There we go. That is so cool. Let's see if he can find a way down. I might have to catch him. There he is looking at me. Come on, Sever. Let's go. <laughs> right there. <laughs> uh, that is awesome. Now, I'm sure he can find his way down this. No, maybe. Maybe not. I'll let him decide. I'm not going to call him. He'll figure it out eventually.
She did. She went all the way back, dropped down, and then followed my track. He is younger, not so smart, but he's, he's, he'll learn one day through experiences like this. That's exactly why we're out here, so he can learn. I was about to say, look at this. If this isn't the perfect bear hiding spot, there's thickets, rocks. I hear my dog barking. I don't know what. We'll find out. Let's go. Let's go. It's not too far. It's only 70 yards in front of me. I think I'm going to put a trail camera right here on this trail. Yep, on this. Well, yeah, it's still, it's dead, but it's pretty solid. So let's do that. The trail goes over there. I could see some ground disturbance. Not sure exactly. Well, that's from, oh, oh both of them are barking. All right. So here's a nice trail. Put my trail camera there um, goes it kind of mer merges one goes up there anyways here's something that I found to me it looks like oh my god looks like some I don't know maybe I'm wrong but this might be what they call the plug <laughs> with the bear hibernating and then finally coming out he ate whatever and pooped this out the plug I don't know if that's what it is I've never seen one but anyways the dogs were parking up in this cliff but not convincing so they may have smelled a bear in the den still if it is the case I mean I don't have any interest in, interest in staying uh, so we'll move on but hopefully when he comes out he'll I'll get them on the camera. But anyways, let's go. Come on, let's go, Sam. Yeah, well, I guess I should have explained it better. They went up halfway and they started barking more. You can see it's pretty steep. Uh, I couldn't get up there, so I called them off. We'll just keep going. That's probably a bear in a den still. Look at that. Uh, look at that. Nice. I thought it was a shed, but I'm looking closer and there's part of the skull attached. So I guess I won't see a picture of this guy anymore, but I might see something else. So I found a way up. There's a there's this narrow passageway to the top. And I'm curious I'm curious if anyone is using it. Because look, it's straight walls on both sides, and then it just goes up through this. So I'm going to put a trail camera right here on this tree, pointed at this entrance, um, and see what happens. That'd be cool. Wow, look at that. Isn't that something? Look at that view. Yeah, I'll show you in a second. No, I can't cannot walk any faster. I'm getting tired. But look at this. We were down there. Not long ago. And, and I'm pretty sure it was a bear den down below us. Here's that old cabin. It's so cool.
This is crazy. I was just, I just heard something move. Oh, it's a bear. Oh, God. Look at that. I just stepped away, started walking away from the cabin, walked down here, and I heard something walking through the woods. And then the dogs were about 300 yards, and they must have followed its trail. And how insane is that? I try to approach him here for a day. I mean, it's only 20 yards. But he can he saw me. That's so awesome. Two dogs. I have Kuma and Sever. Butcher's at home. Uh, she's still limping a little bit from last time, but two dogs, as I always say, is two like is plenty enough. If you're willing to hike. I don't know about him, now he's going to bail. Alright, so what's going to happen is he's going to bail, he's going to run downhill. They're going to chase him, they're going to tree him again, about 200 yards. And then it's going to start raining. And I'm going to call the dogs off. Well then, why don't I call them off now? While I still can. I want to get closer to the bear. I don't want to get wet because it's going to get real. The weather's going to turn. It's going to be windy and raining all night, all day, all afternoon. <sighs> and he's pretty low. I mean, he's going to bail for sure. Or maybe he'll climb up. And that's his one. Yep. Off they go. Oh, there, there he is, treat again. That's that's him right there. Didn't go too far. <laughs> that's just awesome. I'm so glad I came out today, last day of the chase season for non-residents in West Virginia. Oh no. Bailed again. Oh, I can hear him climbing again. Yep. Maybe not. Sounded like. See what's going on. So they treed about 176 yards down below me. But it's pretty thick. I can bear I can hear him barking. But... Ravens. But barely so. So anyways, I'll go. I gotta go get the dogs now. I mean, if this was a hunting situation, the very first time, they, the very first tree, it was 20 yards and it was in plain sight. So that counts as a bear tree. Like for instance, well, whenever we tree something and I can get to it for, for a kill, or if they find something and they, if, if they get, and the, and the thing doesn't want to climb and I can't get to it and eventually they quit because they get too hot, then I don't count that as a, as a, as a tree bear or a bear for that particular season. 
well, any season in that for that matter but in this case it's gonna be our second bear of this year it counts but let me go see if I can take better pictures of him well there's 70 yards down there how do we get down there There he is. That's him right there. That's gonna be tricky. Oh, I can see the dogs down below. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I can go all the way. But I don't think, yeah, there's no way. He'll, he'll see me again, he'll run away. Cause he picks a tree that's really small again. He's not that high up in the tree. Ooh. I don't want to be pushing all the way down because my truck is that way. But. Nothing I can do. Yeah, climb up, climb up. Oh, he's a nice size. Decent size bear. Nice. No, ah, off he goes again. Yep, he just climbed again. I mean, again, this was 15 yards. Yeah, he jumped and he ran 40 yards or less than that. So this was a hunting scenario. Definitely would have been able to take it. I don't know if I would. She doesn't seem big. Oh, there he is. You can actually see him from here. Yeah, he's not happy. Right there. I think this time he's not going to go anywhere because the dogs are right here. He's right there. It's a pretty tall tree and a decent branch he's on. So I just need to get as close as I can to the base of a tree so that he's not gonna he's not gonna be tempted <clears throat> to come down. So it's very tricky. Oh no, here we go. Look at him. Some of this rock shifts when I step on it. Probably not safe. Oh, like this guy. Look. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, bear. It's too much stress.
Yep, and they treat him again. I can see him climbing. There he is. Well, last time I was able to get to 10 yards. It just keeps getting better. I guess if I was smart, I would go down and try to approach from down below, but I don't feel like doing that. Do extra work. All right, I think we got him this time because he's pretty high. I just need to get to the bottom of the base of this tree. All right, give up now. We're done. Whoa. Oh, look at you. Huh. No, I'm not afraid. Kind of am, but not really. Whew. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you are. Yeah, go up, go up. No, don't do that. Don't, no. Please stay up. He's small. And he's up in the tree again. Man, right there. I mean, this is becoming ridiculous. I guess I could have grabbed the dogs. All right, I'm gonna just get my leash and I'm gonna try to get them. Yeah. Sever. Kuma. Whew. I put the camera at the base of the tree, hoping to film how the bear jumps out. As I pull the dogs away, the camera tipped over. Oh well, you can see how bears jump out of trees when they're treated and freed in my other videos on this channel. And uh, I guess like and subscribe. And if you wanna hunt bears with just two dogs and have 100% control of the dogs. You know what to do. Uh, it's only, I don't know if you can see it, three miles. Well, it's about two miles back to the truck, so five miles total. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, I'm back on the trail mile and a half to the truck pretty much straight line so the dogs are with me hopefully we don't run into another one uh so yeah last thing well i think last the last thing so when we were down below and the dogs were barking i thought it was a den now i'm thinking the bear was up at, at the top and the dogs were getting look what she's doing they were getting some wind of that bear, but they weren't convinced. It's because the wind's, whatever the wind's doing, I don't know. But they smelled something and they, there's no way for them to get up at that point. Uh, so yeah, they gave a few barks, not convincing. I almost thought it was, it was a maybe like a bobcat or something in a, in a hole in the cave or something, there was rocks. But then I saw that turd. So now it all makes sense. That's where I'm going. The bear was all the way at the top next to the cabin and the dogs just couldn't get up the wall and they could barely smell it. Well, they may have smelled where the bear climbed up. I don't know if he, because I, you know, bears, I've seen them climb those walls before. Anyways, that's it, that's all. See you next time. I don't even know what I'm gonna show you next time because the training season won't start till August. 
I'll figure out something. Oh, so one, one, this, this time I promise the very last thing. Back there, I said something like, oh, this counts as, a, as my second bear or whatever. Another bear that we caught. I don't want you to, to get an idea that I'm all about, you know, numbers, train bears and whatnot. I, I count for fun, but that's not what makes me wake up in the morning, go to work, come home and head into the mountains. No, that's not my goal. My, what, what makes me, what motivates me and basically forces me to keep going out and, with my dogs is, is the, it's the whole idea. It's the principle how these dogs work. It takes one or two dogs, three, it's kind of too much, to, to put enough pressure on a bear and tree him. And if he jumps out, do it again and again and again without letting the bear run for miles, as you've seen in the first, in this video. But in order for the dogs to be able to do that, they have to be in a top physical shape. And in order for them to be in a great shape, I have to take them out twice a week. At least, I'd say. I try to do it three times a week. If it's coon hunting for a couple hours at night or bear chasing whenever it's legal or bear hunting, at least two, hopefully three times a week for at least a couple hours or hopefully five, six hours. Only what that accomplishes is three things that, that immediately come to my mind. There's probably more, but three things. Keeps the dogs in great shape so you will be more successful with these dogs simply because they'll be able to put enough pressure and not give up because they're exhausted. Number two, it helps them not getting hurt. So again, when that bear jumps out or they're in the thick stuff and the bear charges, if the dog's been sitting in the pen or in the house for a long time, they're not as, their muscles are getting weaker. So they won't be able to dodge, to, to evade, to fight back. So the second thing, first one is success rate goes up. Second thing is the injuries, or the chance of the dogs getting hurt goes down, go, go down. And lastly, the third one is with these dogs, you keep them inside like a, like a means of a barking dog. That's what it means in Russian. If you keep those dogs inside, they'll start going crazy. I mean, if you keep me inside for, for two weeks, I'll start going crazy. But those dogs, they will bark, they'll start digging, they'll probably chew on stuff. They just, it, now you take them out once, twice, three times a week, it's a totally different dog. They're well behaved, they're quiet, they will listen. That's it. So again, the only reason I'm finishing up on this note is so that you don't think that I'm all about numbers. No, that's not why I'm out in the woods with the dogs. I want my dogs to be in the great shape so they don't get hurt, if anything. And then everything else on top of that. Okay, this time that's it, bye. Oh no. Oh no, they're coming back. I thought they smelled something. Okay, see ya, bye.